and in this video we are going to look at few things in the javascript um, which would be you know basic arithmetic operations and then increment and decrement operator okay so so far what we are what we have been doing is we are working on uh, chrome developer tools where you go to chrome and you look for uh, you know uh, console where you type your js code and things come over there but what if i have to do it on my website or like i have to code somewhere for my website so i need a you know a code editor so we are going to use vs code for that which we have been using so far and here what are we going to do like let's see how we run things simply you click on new file okay let's name it index and give it an extension of .js so let's just save it and so it means that index.js it means that okay this is a js file you can see from this logo okay now so if i want to print something on my console what i'll do i'll say cons let me just increase the size a bit great console dot log and here i can say something like hello world i will simply save it and what i'm going to do i'm going to go on view and i'm going to click on the output okay now if i click on the run button you can see that my output has been uh, there on the terminal or on my console okay so this is how you can easily get output of your uh, what should i say code okay great now like in the previous video i told you about variables but one thing i didn't tell you about was uh, name a convention of variables so suppose i write var x is equal to 5 that works but i cannot name x as a keyword so we have learned about a keyword called alert so if i try to write it alert and okay let's try and write alert okay it's working let's change it to something as function let's say okay suppose i remove this part I don't know why it was not working for console but here you can see that function is not allowed as a variable declaration name because function is a keyword for something so that's why this thing is coming similarly if I write something like that same issue is here okay so you know we cannot have keywords as a variable name great now for the most part uh, working in numbers and javascript it is pretty forward okay like i can have rx as 5 plus 2 okay i can have uh, y as 5 minus 3 5 minus 4 i have add z as 5 divided by 3 okay so you and just for the clarification this is the co comment how we put the comment double forward slash so var x would be what 7 here it would be what uh, 1 and here it would be what okay, 5 divided by 3 I cannot do it in my mind but it would be what something around 1.66 or 1.67 something let's just type it 1.66 now let's see if what we have works or not let's say x then let's just copy this part and just paste it and just paste it again we call it y and here we'll call it z okay i'll just save it and i'll run it okay great 7 1 and 1.6666 7 okay great so this was you know basic arithmetic operation but there is something or only one operator that's a little bit weird it is the model okay and it is basically represented by uh, percentage sign okay so what does a modulo uh, g 
gives us is it gives us a remainder okay suppose i divide 9 by 6 okay here uh question what i'll get one let me just put here and remainder i'll get what three Great. So suppose I try to have the console log of E here. I'll save it and if I run, you can see it's 3. I might be wondering, okay, it's fine, it's great. But what is the use of modulo? Modulo, like as I told you, it's is, you know, used for the remainder, to find out the remainder. But other than that, modulo is used many times in a code or, you know, in coding especially. Now how it is used most of the times? Suppose, suppose, suppose I have a number, let's say var 8, anything. Okay. For the timing, let's say 45. And if I console.log a percentage 2, what it would return? 1, obviously. So if any odd number is divided or uh, modulated with 2, it would give me a remainder of 1 and if it is modulated by and if it is an even number it would give me 0. So that is how easily you can find if a number is odd or even. That is like one of the use cases of modulo but obviously there are more which we will be seeing further in the playlist. Okay. Great. Uh, now what we can have. Okay. Another thing is suppose I have var a and suppose I have 5 plus 3 into 2. What would be the answer of this? So suppose if it is 5 plus 3 into 2, what would be the answer? 8 into 2, 16. Okay. But what if it is 3 into 2, 6 plus 5? That would be 11. Now to remove this ambiguity, I like, hope you remember that there was something called board mass in maths. Right. So for that, what we used to do, we used to multiply first, okay, first we used to have the bracket, then divide, multiply, addition and subtraction. So according to that, answer here should be 11. Let's try and see if it's having 11 or not. We'll save it, we'll run it again, and great, it's 11. But what if I want to have this solution answer as 16? As I told you, we first saw the bracket, so I'll just put a bracket here, I'll save it, and if I run it again, great, it's coming out to be 16. Wonderful. Huh. Now, so far, we have seen all the operators that exist in normal mathematics and uh, modulo operator. Now, suppose there is a variable x which is equal to 5. And then I'm going to like tell you about some of the operators which exist only in programming language. Okay. So suppose if I do x is equal to x plus 1 and if I do console.log x and if I save it and if I run it, 6 obviously. But to have it, okay, sorry. Yeah, so to have it a bit shorter, what we can do is we can simply do x plus plus and if I run it again, we again get 6. So x plus plus, it is called increment operator. Okay. Nice. Now another thing which I would like to tell you is, okay, yeah. So it basically works as x is equal to x plus 1. Okay. Great. Likewise, uh, there is something called decrement operator which is equal to x equal to x minus 1 which is like this. I save it and I run it and answer is 4. Right, minus 1, 4. Okay, nice. So you learned about increment and decrement operator. But now the question might be coming in your mind. Why is it only used for like only 1? Like I can only increase it by 1 or I can decrease it by 1. What if I want to increase it by 2? So for that you can simply use 
okay so this means x is equal to x plus 2 if i save it answer should be what 7 okay okay great now similarly you can have a variable as well let's say variable y is equal to 3 and you can have this thing as well so you can simply have it as like this so what would be the answer 8 great works right now this was basically all about operators where we learned about you know basic simple operators in maths which we use then model operator and then this increment and decrement operator these would be very handy for you in your uh, like upcoming playlist or whenever like in your general coding as well okay and these are like almost same in all the languages so you don't have to you know i mean you have to learn this very thoroughly okay so i guess that was all for this video and thank you for watching and see you later